at Harvey's range. With the dozer on. This is the bridge, about halfway down, or nearly at the bottom, I should say. Oh, I haven't taken any video today because we've been too busy to getting the truck out of a bog. Went up to bloody Greenvale or Charcoal Creek, loaded the dozer up and then couldn't get the truck out. She just sunk so then we had to un unchain it, take the dozer off and use the dozer to pull the truck out and then reload it again. So it's been a long bloody day. Haven't made much progress. Well, here we are once again everybody. Uh, back moving uh, Kush's dozer around for him. Yesterday I didn't get any video footage because uh, basically the day was a total stuff up. I went up to um, Charcoal Creek where we last dropped the dozer off when I was uh, up there about a week ago, week and a half, something like that. And uh, we loaded her up and couldn't move the truck. It just sunk into the ground, into all the mud they've had up there with the rain. And uh, so after trying two times to pull it out with another truck, and not moving it, we had to unload the dozer, pull the um, pull the do uh, truck out with the dozer, and then uh, reload it again. So I got back to Townsville last night, and now today we've uh, driven from Townsville up to uh, near Collinsville, just short of Collinsville, we're on the Strathmore Road, heading in past Strathmore Homestead to a place called Mount Johnny Cake. Uh, came in here about September 2006, I think it was the last time I was in here. And uh, we're a bit worried that the road might be a bit muddy, but at this stage I've only had to drive through one lot of mud and the road's actually quite dusty and dry, so not too bad. But yeah, that's where we're heading today, into Mount Johnny Cake. And uh, hopefully we won't have any troubles like we did yesterday because it was uh, a bit wild yesterday. So a couple of you know, washed out little creek crossings and stuff, but they're not too bad. We'll get through them, no worries. Just the creek crossings themselves I'm worried about if any of the creeks are rough, so we'll see how we go. I can't believe that there's, um, with the amount of rain that we've had and all these dams all full of water. See out here, this dam here is absolutely chockers. Um, yeah, with all this rain we've had and all the mud, all the getting bogged and everything, there's actually dust coming off the road here. The road's that dry in places, but it's dust. And it's the first time I've seen dust since uh, before Christmas time. So yeah, it's nice to see. I never ever thought I'd say I enjoy dust, but yeah, it's bloody good. So here we are. Coming up to the Strathmore Station homestead. And uh, yeah, geez, it's bloody cloudy around here, but I don't think we're going to get any rain out of it. It's looking threatening, but just putting on a bit of a show for us, I think. So yeah, you're going to come past through Strathmore and continue on to Mount Johnny Cake, which is about another 20 k's down the road. And we'll just go through the grid here at the station. And then we've got a river crossing, if I remember correctly, the other side of the station. So, let's see if we can get through this grid first without taking it out of the blade of the dozer. Down through the dip, and past the homestead. even got a little bit of a bit, bit of bitumen in front of the homestead. So these are just some of the, the buildings here at Strathmore. Uh, it looks like Cush has actually pulled up here to, to check with them to see what's going on. But there's the big old homestead over there through the trees. Well, thankfully the approaches haven't been washed away on the causeway and there's not much water over it, so we're laughing. So here we are, we're now on uh, Johnny Cake Road, heading for Mount Johnny Cake. 
uh, actually happened to Twin Peaks. Uh, do that one radio site first, and then we're going to work our way back to Tabletop or Table Mountain, as the actual mountain itself is called, and do it. So I just hope that this weather holds off because. If we get a big bloody uh, shower of rain while I'm in here on this road, I might not get out again. And I've got to be in bloody Charters Towers Monday morning to move a scraper. So let's hope we, uh, everything goes to plan. Yeah, that's good. Afternoon, Andrew. Got nothing but a white silk sheet on me. Usually, it's all off. Usually, it's all off. Usually, it's all projecting and uh... Nice big dip we're going down through. As I said it's been about six, uh, uh, four, about four and a half years since I've been up here so I'm just trying to remember it all. Some of it looks familiar, some of it doesn't. I don't usually forget a road once I've been on it once but there are certain uh, dips and certain creek crossings on this road that I didn't remember, so... Right on the edge, right on the edge, it's a little whitish, tiny flower, that's passing in. It's good to be here and see it again. Going down round the corner. Still coming through yeah, you're just coming to that uh, creek crossing now. Not bad for the road anyway. Yeah, no, nah, it's a bit rockier than last time I was out here, but yeah, it's not too bad at all. Yeah, they look like they put a coating over it, eh? Another causeway to go across. Slippery covered in slime. Got that green slime happening on the concrete. And uh, we got this major drag. Very, very dusty. And, and that's uh, where we're heading. It, <laughs> over on that highest peak over music, there music, is a radio music, tower. Music. And that's it's where we're going. Here, here, so that's going to be fun. some mud here. We're going to have to put the dip locks in and see if we can get through. It's on me right a bit with a little bit of pace and it's not too bad. And I'm going to go for a long time as long as my health holds out, which I expect will for some time. So look for my wife and my son. And we'll do the picnic. We got through. Big mother cattle here. Some horny little bastards too. Horny big bastards. Look at that fella there. Yeah, it's all right, George. Yeah, mate, not a problem. We've got to go back. 